Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata, today is the 20th of April so I hope you guys are all having a lovely Easter, but today I have some news for you regarding H1Z1, as the Sony Online Entertainment President John Smedley once again took to Reddit and Twitter and discussed several aspects of the upcoming MMO. Now, in the process, he did touch on some features of the game, as well as answering some questions he felt were com common amongst the fans and people who are interested in the game. Now, the first thing he announced were player servers for H1Z1, which are going to take an interesting angle on online customization. And he said, quote, The idea is simple. If a community of our players wants to host a server with a specific theme or rule set, then we're going to do our best to give it to them. Players will receive a pledge token for free if they played more than five hours. This pledge token can be used to cast a vote for a server, but use it wisely. You only get one free per year. Make sure it's a community you believe in and that has a good chance to succeed because we're going to set the bar as such that the community can sustain an MMO server. If you find yourself dying to vote on another server initiative, we'll also sell pledge tokens that you can, but you can only use two pledge tokens a year maximum. So again, it's up to you, but we want to make sure if we build it, you're coming. We are also going to refund the station cash you use to buy it into your account if the player server initiative succeeds. And then he answered the question that is probably on most of your minds, and that's why refund it if it succeeds? And he said, quote, Simple, we really want to give you the kind of servers you want. We're going to set the bar that high. If it succeeds, you've built a community of fellow players you want, and as our customers, we want to give you that. But we also need some indication of reality in order to make this work. Now, he did announce a few features for the game, one of which was that the game will feature both first and third person playable perspectives, but as you might expect, vehicles will be third person only, just for example. Now, the big question that he addressed was how different that H1Z1 will be from DayZ. Now, this is a question I've seen raise myself a few times. Now, he gave what I would regard as quite an interesting and surprisingly honest answer. As he said, quote, I'm not going to give some politically correct dodgy BS answer. It is a survival and a zombie apocalypse game. So is DayZ. They've made a brilliant game, first I might add. They have a great vision for it and I can count myself and most of the people on our team as fans and contributors. We're making the game we're making. Long term we plan on making this a persistent world with a big landscape with thousands of players. So this is our take on the zombie apocalypse with a lot of friends and hopefully some great enemies both living and dead. We're proud to be up front and say we love Daisy and the job they've done and we hope that they enjoy what we make too. I can say this another way. I love 28 Days and 28 Days Later. I love World War Z. I love well, Warm Bodies. Oh, come on, you did too. I love Night of Living, Living Dead. And all the other ones. I love The Walking Dead. And so do most of you. So sure, we're another zombie apocalypse game. Call it what it is. But our goal is to make ours fun, accessible, hardcore, and super, super deep. As time goes on, we hope our take on the end of the world by zombie is fun, and lots of people get to try it. So as I said, a surprisingly honest answer and quite an amusing answer, I must say. It's refreshing to see such honesty as would normally we get, you know, little PR, you know, soundbite answers from people. So it's nice to see that little bit of honesty from him. So there you have it. Those are all the little bits he had to say regarding H1Z1. I, of course, link the Reddit thread in the description if you want to give the whole thing a read. But I have discussed what I would call the pick of the litter in this video. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.